Alrighty, hello. Looks like we're doing this thing. Doing this kind of ghetto because I am in my hotel room uh, with only my laptop. So, alright, cool. Looks like we're rolling. The stream should be available. I'll go ahead and share this in the Discord to see if we can get the party people going. If it will tell me that I'm live, that would be nice. I guess I can make this go away now. Hello, hello. I'm gonna try and, uh, is it just not gonna show? Lame. What's up? How's it going? How are you guys? You guys are like super fast. Notification. Notification squad. <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't ghetto. It's super cool. Uh, I guess I'm kind of like showing the live stream and that's bad. That's bad practice. I want to get the link to the stream so I can share it in the Discord, but I guess it's just not going to happen. So whatever. If any of you guys are willing to, post that in the Discord server, if you are in the Discord server. And let's do this thing! I am going to go to CodeWars.com, and we're going to play a little bit of Code Wars. So I am uh, in my hotel room. Let me, let me mind that. Um, I don't have another monitor. So I'm going to display this in the pop-out chat until I can get, if my if my cell phone will actually let me see the stream and, like, see the chat from there. I don't know if it'll work. I don't think it will. But we're going to try it. I told you, this is ghetto. <laughs> don't say anything bad in the chat because it's going to be visible to the rest of the world in the video. So uh, I've been playing with Python in Code Wars, and I think it'll be kind of fun. I learned about this thing just recently, uh, and it's super cool. I Okay, again, hotel infrastructure, so if the network just sucks, if the internet connectivity just dies and the thing, like, craps out, like, let me know, and then we'll stop, but in the meantime, we'll just kind of go and roll with it. I'm, I'm hoping that you guys will be able to keep me, keep me notified. Seems like everything's A-OK, -okay, but relying on hotel internet. Come on, Marriott. <laughs> okay, so my goal in this task is to implement a difference function which subtracts one list from another and returns the result. It should remove all the values from list A which are present in list B. If the value is present in B, all of its occurrences must be removed from the other. Okay. Thanks, Akash. Let me uh put that in. You're the man. Thank you so much. I'm just going to throw that in announcements. Uh... We are most definitely out here. We out here. <laughs> Alright, let's do this thing. Can you show me your VMware or VirtualBox and discuss what every machine is for? Um, I actually am a horrible, horrible CTF player and I don't use a virtual machine. And I totally should. But I don't. Because I'm bad. Um, I think there's a way with sets, like set, we can actually just return unique values, and there's a way to like to determine like intersection. I think it should remove all the values from list A, which are present in list B. That's like a thing you can do with sets in in lists in Python. So if I had a uh, list A, which is this example, if, is my is my face in the way? By the way, am I going to repost this video online after I finish recording it? Absolutely. Yeah, all of my streams, unless they suck. Which some of them do. I try not to. Uh, I don't share the ones that suck, but I'll re-upload the ones that I don't think were that bad. Can you learn to code on Code Wars? Yes, absolutely. That's I think the whole point is to practice and learn a little bit. So I have A and B, which are lists. So if I had a set of A, let me just call this set A and set B. What's up, Kaboom? How's it going, dude? I feel really bad. Things just kind of like fell away for our 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 latest gig that you had lined up. So. You would put my face on the top of the chat. Let's make that happen. Dank Memes knows where it's at. We're going to drag my face to the top of the chat. Look at that. That's magic. <laughs> and you guys got to see all of it because I only have one monitor. <laughs> this is real as it gets. I told you. What's up, Vigo? Welcome. Thanks for hanging out, dude. I'm thankful that you guys all came to join the party. <laughs> Alex, wow. <laughs> Don't say anything bad. Remember, you're on the screen. <laughs> so set A has, like, intersection, I think? Or is it union? 
No, Intersection is the one that are in there. I don't have a lot of time to watch at the moment. Yes, no, you totally don't have to watch. Obviously, don't. <laughs> if you have life to do, then this will be available later. Don't worry. Thanks for watching in general. Hi, City Link. George, thank you, man. Greetings to you from the United States. <laughs> Georgia, currently. Okay, so I don't think that's right. I think it wanted to be... So the expected answer is 2-2. Two, two. That makes no sense. The expected answer is 2-2. Two, two. Oh, the values that aren't in the other. Oh, it's got to be a list, though. It can't stay... Yeah, so, Akash, I, I'm i trying to defend myself here. I am a dark mode guy, but I leave it in light mode for work. <laughs> so I can hide it better at work. If any of my coworkers are watching the stream, don't hate me. <laughs> or if any of my future coworkers are, are, are watching the stream. Set A should... So we're, we gotta work with a list, right? So we expected two. Two, two. That's not hard. We can just loop. We should remove all the values from list A which are present in list B. That should be like a thing. We should just be like for C or X, or whatever, in A, B dot remove X. Right? Does that work locally? Like, does that happen? So, Sebastian, this is um, this is Code Wars. This is a online experiment, playground, learning place to learn programming languages. There are tons of them. I didn't do a good job of actually introducing this when I first started, so let's backtrack. <laughs> um, you can choose whatever language you want to learn programming in, and they have a ton, and they have tons of exercises, what they call katas, or KATAs, that will let you uh, exp like practice and learn. They'll give you a task, they'll give you something to accomplish and something to do. Uh, so I'm sticking with Python for the moment. Hi, Alter Ego. Yeah, I could use uh, list comprehension. I would love some tips if you guys want to yell at me through the chat box and tell me what to do. You know that's how streams are fun. <laughs> Uh, is there any reason why I stick to Python 2 instead of Python 3? Um, this is what idle spawned as. I prefer to use Python 3 now. I'm actually I'm doing much better at actually using this, uh, using Python 2 and Python 3. Okay, so a.remove will totally work. What if it's not in there? What if it's not in the list? Can I just do a try? Uh, a shitty hack. Do Oh, I don't like it that I can't like tab or remove spaces really easily. I could use disjunction. Is that it? Is that a thing? Is that only for sets though? Yeah, alter ego. That that would totally work too, because it's just a list comprehension, just fine. Do you know if there is some kind of Pico's 2017 archive work game? Because I'm watching all your videos from the CTF competition, and I don't have a place to check what I'm doing. Unfortunately. I don't believe there is. Um, depending on whether or not Pico CTF would be okay with it, maybe I could try and like re-clone it or make some of the challenges real available. But uh, oh yeah, can you try just return list of eight? Well, so then we might lose some values, right? Because in this example that you should be able to see now that my face isn't in the way, we are expecting two two, and if I were to turn that into a set, you would lose the two unique values. A minus B might just straight up do it, though. Um, no no distinction between them. Let's try that. But then, what happens if we have, like, negative... <laughs> that's, that's not a thing. Negative values? List and list? I don't know if you can do that. I don't know if you can do list... Anish, welcome! Hello! Let me go back to this list comprehension, because that would totally work. Um, return x for x in a if what was it you had if x not in b yeah whoa i hit escape and it totally brought me in the zone it should be returned as a list right yeah let's try this send a request it's doing it. i hit i hit yeah that's super 
goodness, that should have that should have been super easy. You know how your IQ just completely flatlines when you go on stream and present yourself to the internet. Hello, everyone. What's up, dog? Yeah, <laughs> this is normally not the time that I stream, but what I wanted to do is do this for some time until Flag CTF, which is apparently starting tonight at 6.14, uh, 6.14 ET, Eastern Time, so that's my time. UTC, I don't know what that time is, but should be happening in like an hour and a half. So I will do this for that long or until my head explodes, but you guys should come play Flag CTF with me. What's hacking today? Yeah, no, we're just playing around. We're doing some Code Wars. I totally just want to submit that. It passed all the tests. Thanks, Alter. Thanks, Alter Ego. Alter Ego, do you refer to yourself as Alter Ego, first name and last name, or simply Alter as your first name and Ego as your last name? You, <laughs> Mr. Ego? Mrs. Ego? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to assume anything, you know? <laughs> okay. Let's go do another thing. Do another thing that the audience can tell me the answer before I get it right. So are you staying up at night and completing flag CTF challenges when it starts? Um, I'm going home tomorrow, so I don't know how late I'm going to stay up. I don't have work, so I can sleep in, and that's going to be really nice. Uh, checkout's around like noon, so I could probably stay up late, but Google CTF is coming up soon. I'm very excited for that. Uh, that beginner's quest, because I'm not cool enough for the actual <laughs> the actual CTF. Square of squares. You like building blocks. You especially like building blocks that are squares. What you even like more is to arrange them into a square of square building blocks. Excuse me? What is this saying to me? <laughs> Sometimes you can't arrange them into a square. You end up with an ordinary rectangle. What? Given an integral number, determine if it's a square number. In mathematics, a square number or a perfect square is an integer that's a square of an integer. In other words, the product of some integer with... Excuse me? So I just have to determine if it's a square. Can I import math? The square root would just be the worst. Can that, that's just a thing, right? Math dot square root. Square root of four. So let's take the integer form of that. Multiply that by two, and if that's equal to the number, then. That should be what we need. What's well, my favorite distro? I run Ubuntu. Everyone tells me that I should just use uh, Arch. And I'm like, I'm not cool enough for Arch. I'm, not, I'm just not. <laughs> okay, so squirt is equal to... Wait. What if, what if I actually return a, a float that's not something, and then when I try and convert it to an integer, would it do that? Would it just break it? Would it, like, give me the right number? Let's just try this. Square root is equal to math dot... Whoa. Square root. I don't want to use the same variable name. Square root equals math dot squirt. Yeah, I was thinking about trying Manjaro for a little bit. But, uh... I don't know if I'm cool enough for that, even. I, uh, tried out Ubuntu 1904, and it's gorgeous. Like, Disco Dango? Disco Dingo. It's super cool. Uh, I'm still not used to GNOME Shell, though. So, I'm... Because I need my, like, alt space accessibility code things, because I, like, alt space N, alt space C to close windows and, like, fly around the keyboard. Like, I kind of have an issue. <laughs> I, like, play piano on my computer. And, uh, do list comprehension again? What are you talking about? This one isn't list comprehension. <laughs> Int. Uh, let's just say mini if mini squared by itself is equal to n then that is a square return so let's just return that value i'm sketched out by this i feel like that might or might not work no totally failed what did i do wrong math domain error oh no because it's a negative number yeah, I would feel like I can check if there's something after the period. Matthew Iverson, do you lot do you do a lot of code wars? Is it fun? I saw the I saw some of my students doing this in class, and I was like, "That's amazing! Why haven't I done that before?" Uh, if n, can you have any negative squares? No, because. 
negative number multiplied by a negative number is always going to be a positive number, which is not the original number. So if n is less than 0, just straight up return false. Duh. Oh, God. Okay, slick. That did it. Yeah. Have I tried VS Code? Yes. I think at one point. Can I submit this now? Or can I submit this? <laughs> I just hit attempt. Okay, good. Uh, I am a cybersecurity instructor in SME. So I am a teacher. I should use VS Code more. But uh, yes, please take a look at Flag CTF if you guys are interested. Um, I have no idea what it is or if it's good or if it's bad. It seems to be pretty beginner friendly. Uh, and it sounds like it would have a good trajectory, but I know literally nothing about this. Uh, someone in the Discord server came out and was like, bro, are you going to play this today? And I was like, I didn't even know it was happening. And then they sent me the link. I believe in calculus, so there is, in fact, negative squares. <laughs> oh my gosh, I unlocked a new privilege. Sometimes you just comment solutions. Now you have the ability to mark these comments as having spoiler code. Wow! Wow! I'm a big kid now. It sounds like a Huggies commercial. <laughs> is that is that the right commercial? Is it a Huggies commercial? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please party with me on uh, Flag CTF. Hopefully it'll be good. I got even more privileges. Oh my gosh! I'm the best. Where should we start if we're interested in cybersecurity? Uh, where do you want to start? How do you like to learn? Do you like to read books? Do you like to watch videos? Do you like to play, use capture the flags or war games? Calculate the row sum of the triangle. Whoa! The row sums of this triangle from the row index starting at that thing. How does it even happen? How do I get that? Given the triangle of consecutive odd numbers, Oh no! How do I generate that? Brent, we're just playing around with Code Wars. How the crap? Teaching is, yeah, teaching is, so originally it was developing, I helped make the course that we have right now. I developed the Python section, the offensive Python section, uh, and the Metasploit and the exploit DB, exploit database section, which is really cool. Uh, I was really pleased with it and really proud of it, um, and I'm doing it now. I'm teaching it, so. Yeah, do CTFs and bug bounties and play write-ups. I'm sorry, practice war games and read write-ups, read the solutions, stuff like that. I have not tested pentest.it. I don't know what that is. Is it OSCP? Let's check. Pentest.it? I feel weird going to that as a website <laughs> on a stream. <laughs> Hacker's Handbook 3? Is that Hacker's Playbook? I have Hacker's Playbook 1 and 2. They're literally in my bathroom. <laughs> they're, they're my bathroom reading stall. Reading reading good. Yeah, so if I were going to switch to Ubuntu 1904, I would go to... Uh, yeah, I'll find it later. Actually, pentest.ru or whatever. I think we have a channel... Or we used to have a channel for it in the Discord before I Thanos snapped all of that away. I'm sorry. I'm still sorry about that. Everyone was butthurt. <laughs> I would if I went to Ubuntu 1904 I would remove GNOME Shell well I wouldn't remove it but uh, I would install Unity over it and people probably hate me for it Playbook 3 is different it's Red Team Edition I gotta get that I gotta get that real bad how do I generate this <laughs> Python generate triangle of consecutive odd numbers I would love to write a book uh, I think Pact approached me at one point and asked me, like, Pact wanted me to make a video series, and which I'm totally good to do. Yes, you get N as a rod, uh, excuse me, N as a row, and I think you need to add the odd numbers to it. So, one squared, two squared. That's You can't, like, get a good way to uh, get it. Don't generate the triangle. Sum of odd number is a square number. I don't know. Eight's not a square. There's some math here. I didn't expect to be doing math, guys. 
<laughs> the row number is the same as the number of numbers in the row. Excuse me? Yeah, so I... I'm getting many, <laughs> many signals. It's the index cubed. Oh! Oh! That makes sense. Wow! Holy crap! Is it totally just the index cubed? That's amazing! That makes sense! Yeah! Okay. Who said that? Brent? Brent, you're a genius. When did you start to compete into CTFs, and how did you train and learn new stuff about it? Um, I went to a cheesy uh, school, <laughs> uh, and I played in Cyber Stakes, which was a competition between all the service academies. And we, the first year we went, uh, we were really bad and made a fool out of ourselves. And then I was like, I don't want to do that again. That was super duper fun. How do I get better? So I went to ctftime.org. I went to Over the Wire because that's what people told me. That's that's what the CTF organizers, which were Plaid Parliament opponent, like Cyber Stakes, when they put it on and originally it was DARPA funded, it was uh, Carnegie Mellon University and Plaid Parliament opponent and they built the game. So I was talking to like Tyler Nicewander, like having a conversation with him and, and, um, David Brumley, I think David is his first name, yeah, who who are now the guys that do um, Pico CTF, because they're all Scilab and CMU. Yiggles, you're the man. Thanks so much, dude. <laughs> um, so I wanted to get better after I've had these conversations with these incredible CTF players, so I just tried and played. You're going to be given a word. Your job is to return the middle character of the word. If the word's length is odd, return the middle character. If the word's length is even, return the middle two characters. Okay, that's not hard at all. If s len of s is equal mod two is equal to zero, even equals true, else odd equals true. We don't even need those variables, but I just need to know what I'm doing. So return yiggles. Stop it, dude. You're the man. <laughs> when I plan my next live stream, I always surprise you. Caleb's not here. Julian's not here. It's just me. So I'm, uh, I hope I'm, I hope I'm carrying this stream all by myself. Big muscles, right? I don't think there is any working Pico CTF 2017 archive, unfortunately. Uh, I will ask and see if we can, or I can share some of that. I don't know if that's okay or not, but S, len of S divided by two. Will that work? Testing. A equals this. Len of this. So, if it's odd, return the middle character. So that should be A index divided by 2? Yeah. Does that work like that? What is control? Well, that's just, yeah. Control S, will, control C just look, looks like it just sends it. Control single quote. Otherwise, so if it's even, so in this case, A can equal test. Hi, crafter, how's it going? Let's do len of A. So A, len of A divided by two. Do I always need to go the other way? Does that work? Does that not work? Why does that not work? That looks like it works. I don't know. Also looks really disgusting, but whatever. Do it. I suck. Global name A. Well, duh. <laughs> it should totally be S. My bad. I'm a fool. 
Da ding It did it! Wow, it sent me a lot of random, like, base 64. I should do laptop hacking coffee next time. What is that? Hi, Sumya Deep. How long time was it since you started with CTF? So that would have been five years ago now. I started five years ago. Yeah, once you, like, start, especially when you're beginning, you, like, grow, like, freaking rocket, dude. <laughs> should I... I should, like, compare my solutions, shouldn't I? That would be a good thing to do. <laughs> to actually learn, right? But I'm also just trying to do dances and entertain you for a stream, so... Whoa! Is that it? I... Thank you. <laughs> That's interesting. What is DivMod? Is that a thing? What the heck is DivMod? What?! Oh, it'll give you the quotient and the remainder. That's slick! Do I do Android app pen testing? No. I would love to learn, though. You saw me in BCA CTF. Thank you! Yeah, I, <laughs> I steamrolled that CTF for the first two hours and got up to the top four. Like, I was one of the first people to, like, finish all the challenges. Um, and I was really pleased with that because I'd never done that before. I know it's not an extremely difficult game, but it was a lot of fun. And then someone, I think in the Discord, logged in, the because the, so the team credential is shared within the Discord, someone logged in and solved one of the challenges that would give you, like, a negative point value. So it brought me, it brought us from top four to <laughs> top 52. Because <laughs> at that point, everyone else had, like, a lot of other people had solved the challenges. So... Uh, and I haven't played since, um, and I should, but I know there are some really cool challenges that are out now. I have an Android phone. I do not do any iPhone. I do not, I do not do Apple stuff. Alright, let's do another. Next, Kata. I'm glad this is working out. I'm glad the, uh, I'm glad the internet for this hotel has not broken me. Can I do this? You're given an array, strar, <laughs> string array, strarer, of strings and an integer k. Your task is to return the first longest string consisting of k consecutive strings taken in the array. Oh boy. Excuse me? This makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense, I just need to read it again because I've... I'm stupid. Longest consecutive string of zone Abigail theta form uh, da, 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 two. So Abigail theta. Okay. So four I in range of K. Let's get string. Or make <laughs> that string will be, let's just call it consec or something. You guys can totally send memes. You just have to join the Discord server. <laughs> Where to learn binary exploitation. Um, Live Overflow has a phenomenal binary exploitation series that I'm very, very jealous of because I see everyone recommend them recommend people to his channel rather <laughs> so uh, I should probably make something cool like that but that's pretty phenomenal um, stack overflow <laughs> Google uh, smash the stack is a good war game the exploit exercises now I think have Phoenix which is a new machine for protostar which is incredible uh, under the wire is a great when you get to Leviathan and behemoth behemoth is hard at least for me because I suck at bin exp but Soul, I don't know, dude. I, I'm in, I'm in, uh, I'm in a Marriott, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Live Overflow, Live Overflow's channel is phenomenal. So is Ipsex. So is Ipsex channel. I don't like saying his name with an apostrophe S at the end. Where am I? Here. 
in the world, in space and time. I was focusing on this, and you guys keep distracting me. <laughs> Why aren't you doing this in Rust? Because I suck at Rust. I don't know anything about it. I haven't learned it. That would be fun, though. We should totally do. Uh, we should totally do some uh, Code Wars in Rust after I learn it. Do I secretly work for that three-letter agency? No. But I would like to, if they want me. I'll work for anyone that wants me. Just give me. You know, <laughs> like, good compensation. I'm doing this thing. I need to focus. Do I have a frequently asked questions page? Uh, that's kind of my GitHub, personally. How do I learn to participate in CTF? No, I don't. No, I don't. I should have one of those. I feel like that's weird. I feel like that's kind of... Like, I'm very self-conscious about the things that I explain about myself on the internet, because... I mean, I'm not, because I'm a walking dox, right? Like, you see my face, and you see my name on literally everything. I'm John Hammond, right? But uh, when I'm trying to talk about myself and, like, my history, I don't want to come across like I'm some professional or like I have any merit or competence. I'm just a dude. I'm just a guy, <laughs> you know? If if people want to frequently ask questions page, for some reason I can do that. I can talk about that. But I'll put it on my website. Uh, my website, by the way... Apparently, uh, some people looked at it because they were look at, thinking about bringing me on for a, a, a gig and a job, and I forgot about the stuff that's, like, here. Like, some of it is funny in a bad, sarcastic way, and there's nothing in this. Like, my write-up section has no links to any of my write-ups, which is horrible, because they're all on GitHub somewhere. Uh, voice acting, I don't showcase anything. And I know that I should, but you see me on YouTube. My graphic design section, for I think a year now, like a, a straight year, I have not added any of my art for that. <laughs> and I have art, like I have stuff that I could show you. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can track it down. Because I've never shown that before, I don't think. Let me uh, locate art. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Uh, let's try and avoid things that have a hidden character in them. Okay, life. Well, that's all my stuff. I don't want to... It's on the other laptop. I know I have it. I'll show it next time. Maybe that'll be a good stream, is going back and reviewing my old art when I used to be creative and I didn't have the world um, suck the life out of me. That was really college. That was really school. School kind of sucked the life out of me. But what even is this Code Wars? It's the greatest thing, dude. It's a online training platform to do a lot of different tasks in programming languages um, and get better. So let me do this. I, <laughs> I keep talking about it, and I need to do it. For I in range K, for, um, let's say, for... V in star string array. I just need to get the max. I just need to get the maximum. Max, uh... Oh, wait. Whoa. How do I get the length? Wait a second. Uh... I'm trying to think of how to keep track of the string and see its length all quickly in one good way. So if I had zone, Abigail, etc., etc., I'd need to grab these. Yeah, a line will obviously get the length, but then I need to know the index. Maybe that's a good way to do it. Yeah, if I enumerate for, so let's enumerate. Let's x index value in enumerate um wait am i stupid this is so hard to do when you put yourself on the internet let's just do this in idle Index value in A, enumerate A, len is equal to, well, I need the max. I need the max of those, so that doesn't work. 
I need to be able to take max. That's the whole point. I need a, I need a list. What monitor resolution do you have? I'm currently running 1920 by 1080 because I'm on a laptop. So I only have one monitor right now. Max len, iterate every n and update max len. But max would be so much easier. But you can't do that with that thing. What I want to do is check it twice. That sounds stupid, though. Oh, you can supply like a you can supply a key to a max function. That's incredible. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, see, exactly, a cache. I was like, that's not going to work. I didn't know you could do that. Holy cow, Python. Python max function. Oh my gosh. All right, Luke Lane, you're incredible. Every time I do these streams, people are like, dude, let me just blow his mind real quick. <laughs> okay. So. Max of S. Key is equal to len. So. Max string. Then S dot oh I'm sorry S C R R S T R A R A W A Y consec dot append max string so we add that to our current list and then let's turn strawberry let's remove that max string so it goes away so then at the very very end we should simply have uh, consec full of stuff that we can go ahead and return. So let's return all the joined of consec. Do it. Win. How do we fail? If it's a empty sequence? Oh no. What do we do if it's an empty string? Just straight nothing? If strar, if strar, do the thing. That's all we need. That's all we needed. Oh god, I suck. Never mind. Oh, because it's not gonna know to do that anymore after it's removed. So that doesn't that doesn't help me. I hate the control S. Actually, really like that Control S will send it, but I also just r like rapidly hit Control S because I'm so used to a, a regular text editor. <laughs> now we can just after I let's do it after I remove it. So if max string is equal is oh, so if not max string if it's an empty if it's an empty list just give up just break dude just stop trying. Now you should work. No. Are you kidding me? Why does that happen? Why? Uh, the doing that in idle is just not fun. Never mind. It just also really sucks for you guys to see, I think. So, what am I missing? Why is that actually happening? Well, try catch is be annoying. X string strar. Oh, I'm sorry. If not strar, because I'm a, a goober. What? Yeah, that's it. Argaray is an empty sequence. Can I just not do that? 
now I should do an if. I should have that if straw to begin with. Because that other one was just breaking everything. Oh, okay. What? Do they need to be sorted? Why would they need to be sorted? They're not supposed to be sorted. Are they supposed to be sorted? Turn the first. Oh, am I going backwards? That's weirding me out, dude. That's weirding me out. No. I don't need to be... Oh. Thanks, Sinister. Get money. <laughs> Oh, wow, you can use sorted with that key line. I'm just listening. They need to be two strings consecutive in the input array, right? It doesn't need to be. Like, return consecutive would still run that thing. It's the, uh, oh, why is it one that fails it? Which is... Because that's the longest string... That's not right. They're doing it wrong. That's the longest string first, and then the other one is the longest string. Number 10 is wrong. <laughs> Their answer to number 10, I feel like, is wrong. Am I just... I'm, I'm probably misunderstanding that, but... I totally... I have to be. You're given an array of strings, an integer K. Your task is... To What is N, Shignov? Thank you, Steve. It needs to be the sum of the strings created? They're being added together. They're being joined. That's so weird. If you preserve the order of the input array, that doesn't... Looks like you do. Looks. It honestly looks like you have to preserve the order. Yeah, Alter Ego, if you got something, I'm happy to hear. You are more than welcome to just yell at me. I guess I misinterpreted this and looked like a fool. That's all. Dang. It really upsets me. <laughs> we got an hour to go until flag CTF. Return sorted straw keylan. Okay, I'm just going to hit the I believe button on that, dude. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, copy and paste that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> All right, Neil's next. He's got his. He's got a submission. <laughs> Sorted list. List doesn't know what it's doing. That's got to be strarar. Strarar. Okay, <laughs> thanks. It broke. Two is not an. An index, it's the amount of elements you need to join. Right. And that's what we're doing. That's why we're having two pieces of it. We're doing this in friggin' idle. We're doing this in a script, alright? We're breaking we're breaking eggs here. We're gonna make an omelet. <laughs> that's how the saying goes, right? 
Let's paste this. Poop it into test directory. <laughs> Thank you for naming the file a function. Um, uh, ape.py. Here we go. I saw note. It means consecutive is a string. Follow one after another without an interruption. But like... Obviously, Z, 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 Z is the longest in, in that example, right? So that would be the maximum string, but apparently it's not what they want. We need this because it's the longest. Here's what we'll do. We will say the original is going to equal strar. And then what we'll do is we'll say for, what is happening? Why do I have those red marks? What are you doing? <laughs> do I have a, an error somewhere? Bring that back. Okay, thank you. I don't know why you were tweaking out earlier. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, loop through the original again. So, that way we'll say for value in original. And, okay, value. Thanks, thanks, thanks. If value... Let's just call these maxes or something. And if value in maxes, now we'll make a consecutive array. I'm writing some weird, strange things. Then we will go ahead and append it to consecutive. And then we will go ahead at the very, very end and return these that would be in order as we saw them. Okay? All right. What is happening? Maxes. Um that might be a deep copy that it's doing, so let's just make that a copy. I can do that, right? No. Yeah, yeah. So, no, the what we need to do is get the length, the maximum length ones, three of them, and then keep their order. So I feel like this should work. I don't know if you guys like that voice crack in there. That was pretty good. Puberty sucks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is going wrong with this? Because that, I feel like, should absolutely work just fine. Let's get this string. Oracle Thorpe. <laughs> Whatever that string actually says. Z, 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 Z. Convert tabs to spaces. Oh, God. Convert spaces to tabs. The longest consecutive string is not necessarily containing the longest string. I don't know what that means. What are you talking about? List has no attribute. Copy. Good. I didn't want it to. <laughs> I didn't want it to have that attribute. I feel like it's import copy. 
Or like import D Oh, okay. That's a thing. Ladies and gentlemen. That is a thing. Duh. Would that work? Maybe it'll fix all my problems. Import copy. Whoa! Why do I keep hitting the escape button? Copy dot copy. You know what I'm saying? Please, for the love of God, why does that not work? The Tats wants the longest string made up of consecutive strings in the input array. Not the longest strings overall, I think. Alex is just throwing... <laughs> Alex is just throwing code at me. So we'll do it. We'll give him, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. This is me blindly taking Alex's code. I hope everyone enjoys. Ah! Danger! Alright, we're going back to fumbling around. Give me my copy! Import copy. I, I'm confident with my... I'm confident with what I have. But, I don't know why it's not working yet. That looks right, except it's clearly not. Was it not? That's I thought that's what that told me to, the answer was. Get back to the gosh darn web page. Wait, what? Okay, so that's not right. It got the, the that first, and then that. No, it got one, two, three. Those are the longest strings. In order. How are they getting that? How is that number in there whatsoever? All right, Sandro's throwing code at me, and he's he's pretty he's adamant about it. Some more risky business visiting uh, <laughs> Code Wars. Wait, what? <laughs> More risky business going to an unknown pace bin. This is Sandro's code, everybody. Get ready for clap. Get ready to clap for Sandro. Attempt. Oh, it immediately breaks. Something is wrong. It's not about the longest strings. I'm an idiot. That's all this is about. <laughs> Given a string. Given an array. First longest string. I hope this is as infuriating uh, to you guys as I think it is. <laughs> I hope I'm not making anyone like rage quit and throw a table trying to scream at the screen. Because I know that's how all my videos are. <laughs> Follow one another. Maybe... <sighs> what do you guys think? Longest consecutive, as in no gap in it.
so find the longest string and then get the number and then get the strings after it. That's what you're telling me to do. I think that's I think that's how I'm understanding. Okay. 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 I understand now. Shinov has code that he wants me to try. I do it for the people. I make the people happy. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Not Python code. You might have been you might have been referring to something else. So I need to get a string that is the longest with pieces of strings following it, right? So I'm redoing this. I'm I'm starting fresh. For value We've got to enumerate now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like I understand it now. Now I just have to, like, actually write it. Um, max. Oh, gosh. What am I... Hey. I just need a freaking variable name max string is equal to max strar len or key equals len Max string, and then get the iteration. So index equal to, uh, let's just say original again. Uh, let's get the copy. Import copy. What is happening? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> copy dot copy. Strarer original. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the index of the first maximum string that I see. And then uh, if that index plus k is greater than the length of the original, then I know I don't have enough room to grab it. So what I need to do is remove that string, that new maximum string from what I was just testing, and then wait until I find the next one. The next max string, try again with the index, and if that's greater than, then index can equal original dot um, index max string if index plus k is greater than original then strar dot remove max string else let's consec can equal original from index to index plus k. So now we should be able to pull stuff out. So, nothing. Dope. Oh, I have to actually friggin' return consec. Duh. I'm an idiot. Disable build view. Abigail and theta. Amazing. It's like it. That's how it should have been all along. Now let's test with something actually else that would, would normally fail. Uh, that. Should be two. That's gosh dang funny. It's not going to. Obviously something's wrong.
People are still yelling at me. Shinov is white. Is right. You want me to try Shinov's code? Well, I mean, I'm gonna. I'll submit Shinov's code for funsies, but then I still need to like do it myself. I want to. I want to get it right. From the John side of the house, you know what I'm saying, dude. Also, <laughs> I like these. Uh, I like these HTML characters in here. Oh, that was a less than symbol. Less than. It's magic. All right, everybody clap for Sheenov. <laughs> it did it. X range is not a thing. Get out of here, you Python two stuff or Python three. Yeah. Good job, Shinov. Clap for Shinov. Okay. I can go back to mine. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> I imported copy in your code for no reason, though. Just for fun. How's it feel? <laughs> Int uh, list. What are you talking about, dude? Ah, it's because I'm a fool. I had an extra error. Oh my gosh. If, 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 dude. Consec. So if max if strar code review <laughs> Oh no They're all tabs and <laughs> and code wars does not like tabs they like spaces. Do you think they'll accept my new line? Or uh, my shebang line? So, here's the code that I need to fix. Uh, no! No! If strar. That's been my favorite part of this stream, is just saying if strar. I hope that I hope that becomes a meme. <laughs> or just saying the word strar. God dang it! <laughs> Oh, I didn't even, because I, it's because I included their return in that. What? I agree, tabs are way better. The two strings have to be directly following each other in the list. Yes. I am the only Python 2 user in the entire world. Wow. That hurts my feelings. I am crying. I am clearly still an idiot. An idiot. Let me look at. Let me look at his code. All right. Let's look at Shinov's code <laughs> with uh, actual HTML entities in there. I don't know if I still have that sublime uh, thing to decode HTML entities. URL decode. No. HTML. There's a there's a Sublime Text pl plugin. You can um, install package decode HTML or HTML entities. HTML. Shut up, John. Don't bother. <laughs> I'm gonna fail. Let's just replace all these with a friggin' less than symbol. Great job. Good work, John. She knows code. So, return nothing. Otherwise, list is equal to i plus k. As a coding influencer, I can, like, I'll switch it, dude. Look, check this out. Here's what we'll do. Let's, let's like, get all pseudo- Let's let we'll let's hear what we'll do. Let's copy which where, which is regular Python. That. Let's say goodbye to him. Here we go. Copy that to dot 
back. Good? All good? And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and check out where Python 3 is at. Why do I post? Thank you, bro. You're so generous. <laughs> Thanks, dude. You're the man. Let's LN tack S this guy with the good old that guy. It should be the other way around. I don't know if it should be the other way around. Python? No. There we go. Now, from now on, we'll be using Python 3.7. We can alias, like, regular Python 2 if you want. Python 2, is that a thing? Python 2? That is a thing. Here we go. Alias Python 2. How does... How do, what's, the, what's the syntax of the alias command? <laughs> No, you suck! Python 2. Dang it! <laughs> Is it... I don't even... Oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> what is the syntax for the alias command? It's like, is it equals? Is that what it is? It is. I am an idiot. <laughs> I hope you're having fun. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> Clap for Sheena. Oh, I'm going to cry on stream. Cry from laughter. Oh. Hey, Hassan, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Now all my Python code will break because it thinks I'm in a Python 3. No, it's because I still suck at writing any good code to begin with. P is not defined. You're like, Duh. Alright, we're going to go look at Shinov's code again. Woo! We're so close to flag CTF, guys. <laughs> List is equal to the string array from i to i plus k for i in range length of star. Strarer. Oh my goodness. So you combined all of them together and then you just took the maximum of the thing? Bro! That's genius! If I do say so myself. For credit to Sheenov. Do it! Oh my word! I want to see what list is, because that should look like a nonsense. Yeah! It combines all of them together and then grabs the maximum of that. You're a genius. You look at chat John Hammond and you look at beta mail live overflow and you know you made your right choice picking GH Discord. Thanks so much. Uh, heart. <laughs> Alter ego, are none of your messages going through? I'm sorry. Okay, I, so level 6 Q, this is a Q6, what does that actually mean, by the way? <laughs> Any factor, look man, we're all here for each other. JH, JH Discord and the John Hammond community is actually just a giant support group. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Someone, uh... Someone commented on a recent video. I think it was like well, I was just getting started with HSCTF. Uh, and if this individual is listening in the stream or is a viewer that is actually monitoring or ever hears this, I want you to know I, I uh, read it with love and I appreciate it. And I'm not calling you out or anything. I just think it's hilarious. Um, I, he said, your sense of humor is really weird, dude. <laughs> and I'm uh, <laughs> like, well, yeah. Duh. <laughs> All right, we're not doing copy anymore. 
We don't need that. This is props to Sheenov. Any factor. You know I'll give anyone a shout-out. I will happily read your name. And by no means am I the man himself. We got a half hour to flag CTF, boys. Can I friggin' submit this, please? <laughs> Thank you. Great job. Great job, Sheenov. <laughs> All right. Let's go to something that I might be able to do. <laughs> I was like, I was like, man, I can do a lot of these. Like, this is, I'm pretty confident about this. And then I decided to share it with the internet. Hit the go button. Code Wars is kind of slow, though. Or at least, it takes a little bit to, like, load one thing, right? Write a function, which takes a non-negative integer in seconds, and input the time in a human-readable format. The maximum time exceeds never exceeds that. Oh. Okay. So... Also, I do have a weird sense of humor. Excuse me, chicken nuggets. Yeah, let's just kind of like... Hey, hey, idle. Where you at, dude? Let's do it in... Python 3! So the internet doesn't yell at me again. <laughs> let's uh, take that number, mod 60. 59, and that should be the seconds, right? So let's take that number and mod... Whoa! 60 times 60. And then we have to, like, mod that, right? Good. And then we have to... take... this number... Mm, four nines. <laughs> mod... 60 times 60 times seconds, minutes, hours. 60, bro. And then that number mod 60. Nope, I'm an idiot. I'm a failure. Is it divided by... I What am I doing? <laughs> a hundred for hours? How so? Oh, 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 oh. You're smart, and I am dumb. That makes sense. So... Seconds equals... Is it Zfil? What is the thing that you can... Is there a number thing that we can actually pad? Gotta go to idle 3. Um, a equals 3. A dot R just... Okay, it's not a thing. You have to be a string. So, seconds equals... Whoa. S equals seconds. Mod 60. Converted to a string. And then let's Z fill it to 2. Because I said so. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Friggin' escape character. Mod 60 times 60. Am I wrong about that? I feel like I'm wrong about that. Oh, can F string do it? Mod a hundo. So, great job. Thanks. Let's return. Can I F string? Maybe I can. H. Oh, I can F string. I love it. Great job. <laughs> you sure did it. Oh, I still have to mod that by 60 because I'm a failure. At least I think. Let's 
What test are you friggin' running there? Five, zero? Yeah, that's it. Divide by 60 and then mod 60. Thank you. Thank you for failing to connect to the server. That's weird. Can I use regular energy division like that? Yeah. Hours, minutes, seconds. That's how it's supposed to be. Hours, minutes, seconds. Hours, seconds divided by 360. Ah! I am again stupid! I don't know how I... Okay. <laughs> I'm like losing all of my self com I'm losing confidence. I appreciate you guys though for sticking with me, for hanging out. For being willing to help drag me through these. I hope we're having fun. Please continue to the next page. <laughs> Remember when we were thinking about generating a triangle of consecutive odd numbers? <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're having fun. Uh, bouncing balls. A child is playing with a ball on the nth floor of a tall building. The height of this floor, H, is known. He drops the ball out of the window. The ball bounces, for example. <laughs> that, that's a good example. I know I'm reading these the wrong way just for fun, but... To two thirds of its height. Nice. Seems like most programming bugs are just not reading the prompt or applying the correct math procedure. Yeah, I don't know how much of this is going to end up being more math. We have 177 people watching this thing? What are you guys doing? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that many people watching a stream since, like, I hung out with Live Overflow. <laughs> Talk about weird sense of humor. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this fun for you guys. <laughs> okay. His mother looks out of a window one and a half meters from the ground. How many times will the mother see the ball pass in front of her window, including when it's falling and bouncing? Excuse me? Float parameter H in meters must be greater than zero. Okay. So, do we, do we have to do that? Oh, whatever. Float so parameter bounce must be greater than zero and less than one. Okay. And window must be less than H. That feels like, uh something that they are already doing, because their tests already do that. So, less than H. Super cool! If all three conditions above are fulfilled, return a positive integer. Otherwise, return 1. That's all? I'm confused. Yeah, it looks like it's a given. It looks like the tests already do that. So, whatever. I should watch Live Overflow build his 8-bit computer. Him and I were talking about, um, because we, we chat, you know, we, we're bros. That's, it's not a given, you have to return negative 1, it's not met. Let's just try it. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like they don't give me anything that should end up being negative one, but... Yeah, Live Overflow and I were talking about, like, streams and what we could do to keep building, because um, he's very cool and very chill. And he's like, we're not, like, IRL friends. We haven't, like, shaken hands and stuff. I don't know how, I don't know how this is, <laughs> I don't know how this is representative of shaking hands, but. Elko says, how many times does window time 0 0.5 still greater than 1.5 meter? What does window have to do with that? Is H is the original height. So H is given height. Times its bounce. Um... So a collab is in the works? I don't know. Maybe we could tackle Google CTF together again. That's a good question. I should kind of ask him. Yes. Go play video games. Enjoy my antics at a later date. <laughs> I should do the same. I don't, I, feel, I don't feel like I have a whole lot of instruction <laughs> in, in this. Yeah, window is mom's height. So... Let's, for some reason, make a comment for that. So, if h times bounce is greater than window, return when it falls, that's one, and then it'll go back up, and then it'll bounce again. So that re returns how many times it bounces. So that should... I'm sorry, return H, the original height. Or... I feel like this should be a loop, or something. Yeah, loop until h times 6 is less than 80. Count the number of times you need to loop for that, right? Ball goes up and down, so it counts as two times. I feel like Niels is right. New height. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're calculating that throughout a loop. So, as it's looping, let's say number... Uh, times scene can equal zero, and then new height can equal zero. So forever, we can go ahead and say time scene would grow, and new height is going to equal the original height that we have of thus far, right? So new height should actually equal the height to begin with. So h. New height is equal new height times the bounce. So if new height is less than window, then we don't care anymore. Otherwise, if it's greater than, we know we're going to end up seeing it twice. So that would mean that we'd see it again, wouldn't we? Now I'm getting confused. Time seen is equal to zero, so it drops, and we see it, and then it bounces. So if it's less than window, we don't care, but if it goes up, we see it again, and then it bounces again. So it's got to, time seen has to increase. So if it's less than it, and we don't care, let's just return time seen. New H should be new height. My bad. Well, we passed all the tests, but our assertion failed. <laughs> Thanks. Good job. 
Do it. Do it to it. Go for the gold. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go for H as less than window. <laughs> Things might have been wrong. That's not right. Sorry, well, H is greater than window. I'm a failure, right? Yeah, because it's going to be higher than what we have to see. Please don't time out again. Excuse me. Oh, new height. You're right. H doesn't change. New height's the one that gets modified. You're right. This is sketch. Let's go back to our let's go back to our nonsense. Python. Let's try some of these. Ah. Three hundred fifteen. Those work. It does the thing. The server is just like not having it. Is this supposed to? Is there like some other condition? I probably have to keep in mind the asserts that I had earlier. I think that's what I have to do. If H, not H greater than zero, break it. Let's keep that all in one line, just to be stupid and annoying. Yeah. Remove the is else? What are you talking about? Well, yeah, now that we have the condition, we don't need to. But... I mean, okay. I'll buy it. Time seen, I feel like we're missing one, then, if we don't check if we see it again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like we've got to just keep our... Just put the assertions back in, or at least fake the assertions. So, bounce. Stop it. Go away. Bounce greater than zero and bounce less than one and not window less than H. There we go! I don't know why the assert, like, well, the assert would cause an error, so that wouldn't go ahead and, uh, like, return a negative one as it asked us to, so. Thanks, guys. Good job. <laughs> we did it. You did it. Yeah. All right. It's uh, 6.03, so Flag CTF is coming up super soon. we got to join that Slack channel. You guys want to raid the Slack channel? Um, it was shared with me earlier. We, we did it, YouTube! <laughs> Code review! <laughs> we shouldn't make that joke. Um... It's in the Discord. Someone shared it. Let's go. Everyone join the Discord. <laughs> Are all you guys yelling in uh in general? Do 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 do. Here it is. The Slack. Check out this sketchy tiny URL. We, I have no idea how hard Flag CTF is rel relative to Pico. I have not heard of this or seen it. Flag CTF dot Slack. That's it. That's all it is. See if I can log in. That's not the right password. 
Good try, last pass, but you didn't know what I set it to today because you're silly. All right, everybody. Time to raid this Slack channel. Are you going to play it on the stream? Unfortunately, no. I cannot play it on the stream. Because that would be against the rules. I think. There are rules, right? Are there rules? <laughs> hey, guys. Is it totally cool if we just share this on the stream? I don't see rules. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, hello, Val K. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> no one knows that Val K is a special person to me. I know her IRL. You know, <laughs> or the in real life. It's kind of funny. I, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dox that. I'm not gonna say so she doesn't get any hate. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you coming to hang out. I'm surprised we have so many people jamming on this on this session here. You guys want to solve one more? We got uh, a couple minutes before flag CTF gets going. I love you, Val K. All right, let's hit one more. See if we can try it. Complete the method function so that it converts dash underscore delimited words into camel case. The first word within the output should be capitalized only if the original word was capitalized. Known as upper camel case, also known as Pascal case. Okay, so text. So if text zero dot is upper, that's a thing, right? Is upper totally works. Um, hi, Gawkman. Gawkman Kaplan, how you doing? Please tell me if I butcher your name. I'm very, very sorry if I do. Else, we need to... Um, words equal that words dot split um let's do words equals we might be able to do some cool stuff with that we might be able to do some like list comprehension let's do words dot split all underscores and then let's do x dot title for x in that and then let's join that together Let's actually do that first. So uh, if not, if it's not uppercase, then we can go ahead and say words zero. Oh no, how do we do that? Oh no, word zero equals word. Oh geez, new string, new string. Come on tabs, you're not working with me right now. <laughs> you are not working with me. New string equals words zero lower plus words one all the way to the end. I feel like that should work. Let's put it in ape.py. Let's try it. Get out of my life. Text split. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you for catching me before I totally just dove down that rabbit hole. User bin environment, Python 3. Let's go ahead and test some of these. Uh, let's just copy all this and then let's paste it in and get some multiple cursors going on because that's the cool way to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and print and what is the Brazil, how's it going, dude? Thanks for coming to hang out. You're the man. I like that because it totally reads like you, in fact, like you entirely are Brazil. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> Print. I need to actually return it, don't I? Return. Oh, I should probably say... Oh, gosh. How do I go ahead and, uh, return... Let's, okay, let's just return new string in that case. Duh! I'm stupid. And then we'll return words. 
Go! The Stealth Warrior. The Stealth Warrior. Oh, oh no! It does it for hyphens, too? Why? I don't want that! Dude, if we can get this, like, right in time for, uh... <laughs> Oliver, you're the man! <laughs> I'm here, dude! <laughs> Hi, Oliver! <laughs> How do we split on, um... Single quote or, uh... Hyphens, as well. How can we cleanly do that? Your if statement will never execute... Ah! Oh! Thank you! Good catch. Oh, that's a fine idea. Yeah, we could totally just force it. Be like, uh... Four punctuation. Is that a, is that a fine hack? <laughs> From string, import, and punctuation, then replace all punctuation to strings. Import, punctuation... Can, can split take a list? No way. Does our readout split do that? No way. Stop blowing my mind, guys. Oh, we should ask. P.S. Are there rules for this? Are there rules? I don't see them <laughs> on the web page. <laughs> ah, rolling. Rolling on floor laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, already got split with either of those things. No way. Yeah, Cockman, this is the way it should be. We should kind of have, like, I should d d be better about actually, like, being with some of the community and the people. I love hanging out with you guys, and this is a lot more fun. So raw of underscore or hyphen, and then we should pass in text, right? Text. Go! We did it! Alright, sweet, man. Let's check this out. Oh, Slade! You're the man! I appreciate that. Thanks so much, dude. Come on! Excuse me, I suck. An empty string was provided, but not returned. No. If not text, return text. Put that in there. Um, the flag CTF is flagctf.com. We did it. We did it. With two minutes to spare, flag CTF is going to go live, and then we'll go ahead and play the game. Uh, if you guys want to jam for Flag CTF, join the Discord server. I guess we can hang out in voice chat or something cool. That would probably be a blast. Um, the credentials are in that Flag CTF channel. And hopefully it'll be a good game. Hopefully we'll actually have fun, and hopefully it won't be extremely hard. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. So, if you log in, um, you can join a team, and the credentials for that are, are in the Discord server. If you want to join our team and party and have a great time, we'll try and solve a ton of stuff. I don't know how I don't know how the, it'll be. I don't know how the game will be. I have no idea. Maybe it'll be hard, maybe it'll suck. Who knows? Maybe it'll be a blast. Are there rules? <laughs> no one has told me. Like I'd love to stream this, but I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like that'd be bad. <laughs> so uh All right. I'm waiting I'm waiting for like 6:14. You don't see my face because you don't see the time because my face is in the way. But uh I'm hot on the at a 5 key. I'm hot on the refresh key. And let's see it. Once it goes live, we'll call it a day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope the stream is super fun. And it's live! There are zero challenges. <laughs> cool. Hey, if you did like this, uh, please do click that like button. I'd love to see you subscribe. I'd love to see you add it to your favorites. I'd love to see you share it around. This is the highest in the chat I've ever seen. So, thanks you so much for hanging out. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, I can see you on Patreon. I can see you on PayPal. I'm just super duper grateful. It's a literally literally two hours. It's only a two hour CTF. There's no way. Okay, it ends Saturday. Yeah. Oh, Spirit Individual ends in two hours. In forty two minutes. That's insane. Announcements. Now go. Are the challenges up? No. 
Ra! Ubuntu is my main OS. Yeah, it's good to see you, Slade. Thanks, Gosu. I hope you guys had fun. There are no challenges. <laughs> Let's do more Code Wars while we're waiting. We got to 100 points. Whatever that means. Or 8Q. Whatever that means. Ooh, I can have a clan. I guess I'm not going to shut this down yet until there aren't any challenges to play. And so it begins. Are challenges live? So, Wes, um, the, I, I tracked them down through Zero Daily, which is a newsletter. I tracked them down through security, CTF, or Reddit, like, slash R CTF. Streaming should be allowed, as it is not mentioned in the rules. Hey, Jake. Do you have any issue? Hey, Jack. Do you have any issue with this game being streamed? <laughs> like, live playing in the game? That would be a whole new thing, right? I do not see any rules. <laughs> um... <laughs> Does anyone else see rules? Like, Neil, am I, am I, am I going crazy? I don't see any challenges, that's for one thing. It'd be fun to play live, but as long as we can actually play. Right now it looks like we got nothing. So, uh, back to more Code Wars. <laughs> Maybe we can get another good one. Maybe we can get another one that I actually know how to solve. And it doesn't take me. What's your tab switch shortcut? So I use uh, page up and page down, or control page up and page down. And that's really convenient, especially because I'm on the Dell XPS 15. So the function key, which makes the page up and page down key accessible from the up and down arrow keys. So I hit like control and function which are, all, like, on my left hand really easily, and then my right hand has page up and page down, so I roll those extremely easily. Announcements. Challenges are being unfrozen. There was a glitch. Game is on now. Challenges are up! One in Rome. This is going to be a Caesar cipher. All right, let's just go ahead and cat this straight to Rot13. If I had a freaking terminal open up when I hit Control-Alt-T, that's weird. What's going on? What's going on? Why can't I spawn a terminal? Oh my gosh! Terminator. This is awful. Gwake is running. Let's just go ahead and do Gwake. <laughs> Pass that to Rot13. Oh, it has a stupid exclamation point at the end. Stupid exclamation point! Gotta use single quotes for that. Alright, let's do this to Caesar. I want to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Let's do a 4i in. 1 to 26. Do Caesar n. That should be i. This is not the end. This is only the beginning. Enter this entire string as your answer. I need someone to tell me that I can't use this as I can't stream this. So, uh, we couldn't get Twitch working right. Made some YouTube videos I'm about to post. Hell yeah! So, is streaming y yay or nay? Because <laughs> I'm kind of doing it, and I don't want to particularly get disqualified, although I'm already essentially disqualified. Password cracking. Ooh! This looks like a hash crack. Uh, crack station. Do you guys want to be in the Discord server? Do you guys all want to be on the stream? I should probably update the uh, description that now that we're playing a live CTF. <laughs> Encoding is not encryption. Let's uh, let's just open that and see what we got. Because this is probably just base64 or hex. So this is why I use Python 2, right? Because this is going to become super duper easy to just... Why can I not actually enter any of these within Unity right now. No! I don't have idle! I do have idle 3, though. 
In which case, I need to import bin ASCII. Where's that? Where's that chat? All right, cool. Import. Import. I can type. Bin ASCII dot. Let's just call this A. So A. Bin ASCII dot unhexify. So we can get that out of hex. And now we can get that out of base 64, we probably need base 64, except that is base 32, so let's just call that B dot base, I didn't save what I had earlier, so let's call that C, B dot B32 decode C. And now that's hex again, so let's call that D, and let's go ahead and write D for E, C, E, so C, E, which is now base 64, my goodness, Goodness, goodness gracious, uh, DE, which is CE, DE, holy crap, that's base 32 again, DE, FE, FE, oh my gosh, I should have just given this katana. <laughs> I love you too, Antisec. Whoever you are. <laughs> L, Ben Askey, let's just unhexify this, P, which is L. P, uh, yeah, this would have been much, much better to just give it to Katana. And I would like to see if it solves it after that. Is there no flag format? This is really weird. I don't like that that's, like, a thing. Streaming has been replaced by pre-recorded videos. I'm just asking, can I stream, like, live playing of it? I don't know if that was actually made clear. <laughs> Hi, Soren. How's it going? Probably need to HTTP that and make that accessible. I don't know if that challenge is live or not. It doesn't look like it's loading. Reverse the search. Now everyone's playing the CTF and no one's watching. <laughs> Is that right? How's the live dashboard look? 160. That's not bad. Keeping it fun. Don't have it. Offensive activity is allowed only on designated systems and not the scoring system. You agree to use all skills given the computer for legal purposes. Yep. As always, we got PCAPs. That looks like I don't have a flag format. Good, good, good. What else have we got? Oh, people are, cr like, climbing through this. Who else is playing? Let's just jump in the Discord server. Hello, Kenny. How's it going? Okay, I don't know how um, built-in audio will sound, but let's go ahead and make that accessible. Maybe that will add a reverb, though. I don't know if it will. Let's not do that. So I won't hang out in the Hangout. I'm sorry. Hang up. No comments not up yet. Sad. Your laptop shift keys are dead. How does that happen? Are any of the web challenges up? I don't know if I want to deal with that. Oh, that one has a download. Web search, packet capture. Um, let's call this flag CTF. You sound like Terminator? Oh no. Is the, uh, as in, as in I sound like a robot or as in that's just the way my voice sounds? <laughs> I can't start Terminator because Python is no longer a thing. Oh no. 
I need Python 2. <laughs> I need to put Python 2 back, everybody. <laughs> I hope everyone can forgive me, but that's why I couldn't start anything. Oh my gosh, now I finally have a terminal again. This is amazing! <laughs> At long last! <laughs> Let's wire... I didn't uninstall it, I just, like, hit it. <clears throat> Excuse me, wow, I'm sorry. Frame contains... Password. Nope. HTTP. Akami Ghost. Live CTF is fun? Cool. We don't... I don't normally get to do this, so... No one has told me no. And there are no rules for this game, other than don't do this for illegal purposes. So... I don't see any... I don't see anything against it, and when I asked, they, I don't know if they understood me or not, but, you guys are killing this! You got the Google and open source intelligence challenges already? Are the web challenges back up? They were never up to begin with? <laughs> Let's get this, uh, web search ones. All the questions in the segment contain to the attached PCAP file. Website, did the user submit search queries? Oh! Okay, so I see a search string right here. Looks like MIT. Web.mit.edu. That's it! We did it! Good job! <laughs> Let's make a directory. Um, what was that? People are on the Discord. Ooh, is there new uh, Hack the Box challenges? Give them a link to the stream, they will understand. Do I want to, like, open that can of worms again, though? Like, I feel like then I'd just be, like, giving them my hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What was the first search query? Oh, we can submit that real easy. Uh, as soon as I get that wire shot. I feel like it's not smart of me to save flags. Because this isn't, uh... This isn't... A real... Hardcore... CTF, I don't think. Like, there's no flag format. There's just kind of... How many total searches did the user make? Alright, so... Let's do... Wireshark. Frame contains search. Come back, Wireshark. Easier to apologize than ask their permission. You're exactly right. Get... Search. So, that's 218. I just saw that in the displayed packets in Wireshark, right down here. I filtered it on things that were searched by. So, web search pack capture. How many unique queries did the user search for? Oh, now we need to set unique. Um, let's go ahead and export these as specific packets, and we'll call this searched dot pcap or whatever. And then let's go ahead and strings searched, grep for get, and let's sort, and then unique that, and let's word count that. Let's get 126. Cool. User supplied some queries more times than others. Which is tied for first place? Oh, okay. That's not hard. Flag CTF seems very educational. Yep, looks that way. <laughs> let's get sort done. Out of all the queries which are tied for first place and number of times searched, which one is last alphabetically? This guy. O-U-A blah blah blah. That. Good, good, good. What's this quantum computing thing? I don't know if I want to deal with that. Do you think it'll be okay for a first or second timer? Absolutely, dude, yeah. We're playing these, we're exploring. Yeah, but are the web challenges, I mean, I, I'm referring to, are the, are the links up? Hmm. 
this looks like a, a interesting game. Cosmotology. This guy. Who is this guy? Astronomer of... Alright, get out of here, web challenges. Became authorized in what profession? How do you know if we don't use skills gained... How will they know if we don't use these skills gained for good use? Refresh CTF page? Uh... Uh, did the web challenges change or something? I don't know why you... Priest? Ooh, 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 ooh. Good call. Nice, dude. Oh, sweet. You're the man. Good job, Elkus. At the start of 2019, how many incorporated Caesar towns have the substring flag? Oh, gosh. How would we track that down? See, I would normally whine and say, hey, don't share flags, because apparently that word that Elkus just shared is a flag, but I don't see any rules for this game. <laughs> All right. Is someone taking programming? Thank you. Oh boy. Okay. Now now the game is like cruising. Whoa. All these people solving flat all these web challenges now. We're late to the party, guys. You got to want it. Do you want the flag? Uh yes. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get this submitted, and then let's copy that as curl. No! And let's modify it to set that value to 1. There we go. And, oh, me doesn't have input files? That's a bummer. Equifax. The is this a the struts? I'm confused. Do I have to derbus this or something? Oh, log in. Okay. Or one equals one. Comments. Or one equals one. How about hyphens? How about single quotes? One equals one. Nope. Can you walk through the Enigma group realistic challenges? I don't know what that is. Is that a thing? We gotta keep we gotta keep running on these cracking ones. Crack station or hashes.org, right? I know that's a thing too. Well, apparently this probably doesn't solve it, considering Can I check one? I just need a crack. I need to crack a hash. Okay. I don't know good ways to uh, determine these. Fair deal and small. Fair deal small has no information. Is there no input? Is there supposed to be input files, Elkus? I don't know. <laughs> Just running. How we doing? Top of the scoreboard? No. Dang it! <laughs> we need to get a Questifax admin panel. Okay. Maybe it's supposed to be the Equifax hack. Equifax, CVE, that's it, 56, this thing, 
There's a GitHub proof of concept. Hey, Mythic, how's it going? Welcome. Enigma group. Let's download this and see if we can get it. CVE. We don't need Wireshark open anymore. But we do, however, need the link and see how to use it. I am not by any means um, an expert level, right? Like Python CVE. Python 3, excuse me. I'm well. Okay, so now we need to actually supply it. I don't think this is the right one. Because there was one that I used for the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge that was like instant, man. Amazing. Struts Pwn, I think that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's totally it. No, you didn't see me, like, completely failing at those, uh... <laughs> Code Wars games that we were just doing? We need a URL to be passed. Should be this guy. Okay. I am using oh my Z shell, yes. Images. There's gotta be more to this page. Let's do some derb. You know what I'm saying? Opt. Derb. Flag is there? Well, that's the one for... Am, am I seriously on the wrong one? No. It's the same page. I just have to get more here. Red. One. C. Oh! Flag. Yeah, that's the uh that's the no comment one. What the heck? So, yeah, well, that's, that's, that flag that's there, the no comment one, is the one for, like, the flag that you see in the source is the no comment challenge. It's not the login to the Equifax one. Like, that one will submit, but I'm trying to get the admin panel here. Find a way to log into the site and report the flag. So, scope of the attack, looks like there's anything that we can actually throw at it. So let's go ahead and actually run Durbuster and see if we can actually find any pages here. Because it says there are more pages that we should actually be able to see. Let's go ahead and get opt. And the Durbuster directory listing. Go! PHP, SH, text, HTML. Oh! Oh! As in when I tried to run CVE, I don't know what you're referring to. This, th no. So this flag is for the no comment uh, challenge. Alex, you get something? What do you see, dude? Dang. Dang, 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 Alex. Look at you. 
Am I am I an idiot? <laughs> is it because of uh Yeah, I saw the local file inclusion. What uh what did you end up finding? I saw that read file, but is there something that we should track down, like that login.php? Ah, uh, that makes sense. Will it showcase the source for us? Or, oh, it's doing like from root, isn't it? Var dub dub dub. HTML login.php. Uh, what the heck? Looks like it's either way around. Color var. Ah, uh, it's got to be forward slash. Dang, dude. Nice job. That's very clever. You're the man. It looks like we got to do something with this quantum computing or get some of these uh, other recon. Recon is kind of fun. Lyrics and pop music might seem to be getting more repetitive and predictable these days. In fact, they are. What about the titles? How many Billboard Hot 100 tracks have the exact same name as a credited artist, including any collaborators? What the heck? No, you're the man. If you <laughs> did you see the uh, is it the Keanu Reeves uh, presentation at E3? I'm sorry if this is totally random, not related to the channel at all. Um, but He's like, uh, no, you're beautiful. <laughs> like one of the audience members yells at him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keanu Reeves, dude. Incredible guy. <laughs> that's it, that's it. He was like, no, you're breathtaking. <laughs> How are we going to track down the Billboard Hot 100 hit tracks from 1960 to 2009, guys? Is this it? <laughs> oh, shoot, it is. What category songs, though? Is it literally... What are you talking about? In URL. Elkus, are you still going on about the local file inclusion, dude? <laughs> I'm teasing. There's a Python library for the Billboard top hits. Slate, I feel like you're being sarcastic. GitHub Goguo. Excuse me? Oh my god! <laughs> Slade, no way. Why does that exist? You're exactly right. What is my approach when starting a CTF? Uh, run. Try and solve as many low, uh, easy challenges as I can at as quickly as possible. Always check for a module first, dude. <laughs> That's insane. All right, here we go. Let's play with this now. Uh, do I want to sudo install that? <laughs> do I really want to? <laughs> Oh, 
I should probably do like a little virtual environment crap, but whatever. All right. Import billboard. I think. Billboard. Totally a thing. That's insane. We use a chart data constructor. Hot 100. Let's check it out. Chart. So, how do we specify the start? Date. Do we have to get all of them? How many Billboard Hot 100 hit tracks from 1960 to 2009 are the exact same title as the name of the created artist, including any collaborators? What is the first one alphabetically? So we need to do this from every single day from 1960? I don't know, dude. Is that really it? Oh gosh. Holy cow. Is that worth 50 points? We got nothing else to do other than crack passwords. Which, would John the Ripper be able to get these? I don't know, Hashcat always like gives me, Hashcat literally always gives me a kernel panic, so. I guess let's just write this thing then. Let's do it. But do we need to loop through literally every day? That seems insane to me. Import billboard. Will it work? Yeah, it does. That's weird. Okay. Disable build view. So let's get that chart. Billboard charts are updated only once a week. Good to know. Not every day. Good to know. It's 4 a.m. here. Dude, get some rest. Go to sleep. What are you doing, dude? Every chart instance has a previous date attribute. Oh. So if we got the chart data from <laughs> go get some sleep, people. What are binary exploitation challenges going up? I don't know if they are, George, honestly. Uh, this kind of... This, this CTF is a little interesting. I think it's... It's just for funsies. It's just for learning. I don't know if there's going to be any uh, reverse engineering or exploit binary exploitation stuff. We just seem to be playing around. So Let's get... 2009. Yeah, the stream will be saved. Actually, I probably should have started a like a new stream <laughs> in case people actually get angry about this. What is our rank? Well, keep in mind I'm playing with some of you guys that are playing in the game with us. So right now I guess we're cruising at the top. But yeah, best Amcraft, nice job, dude. I like your team name, ass. <laughs> You're the man. Let's uh let's keep trying this. It says it needs the date literally as a date. So 2009 chart data is not defined. Duh billboard.chartdata name is not defined hot 100 whoop whoop 
to retrieve it. All right, got it in two seconds. So, what are your thoughts on OSCP? It's incredible. I want it. Um, it's probably one of like the best certs you can get, in my opinion. Again, my opinion, but. What is OSCP? Yeah, OSCP is a offensive certified, offensive security certified professional. So it's some penetration testing, red teaming stuff. What? Is that because I need to be in Python 3? What are you talking about? You're right there. And now you're no longer letting me work with that data. Can't believe you. How are there still so many people watching? Yeah, I do like being red team. Um, Slade, yeah. I think that's a good plan. Well, we might be able to get the date here. Why does that return like that? Yeah, red is attack stuff, blue is defensive. I do like being red team uh, because I kind of grew up, quite, like air quotes right, with the uh, pen test side. Previous date, that's not a thing. It only takes strings, not date times. That's the thing. Well, if we get just one of them, and then we can get to that previous date, we can check out. Okay. So. This is going to take some time. To download all this data? Like, that's going to be a lot. Or, like, scrape all this stuff? So, now we can look at all the entries. Is it yearly? It looks like it's weekly, because that start date that we just saw was a uh, previous date is a week prior. So it might be weekly. It's going to be a lot. Nice job, Elkus. Is it yearly? Keep in mind, you're you're in 2018 right now. You got to be 2009. Um, are these like video solutions? This is odd. Check out those uh, infected mushroom links. Oh, did you post a link, dude? Yeah, check out that music taste in the background. Infected mushroom, Fox Stevenson. I don't know how my stream is in there. <laughs> Falling up down at the bottom? Good stuff. Yeah, I'm very surprised they did that. <laughs> and, then, and then some video games mixed in. Yeah, the Zelda speedrun. That's funny. <laughs> Nineteen sixty to two thousand nine are the exact same titles and names of the credit artists. What is the first one alphabetically? Mm. 
So we get to download all this? Thanks. Thanks, Lebushi, Mr. Meister, however you say your name. Enjoy. Get some rest. Sleep well, dude. I might have to call it soon, too, because this is going to be a pretty long stream. How do I crack these? Maybe there's a DigitalOcean droplet like that can run Hashcat for me just fine. Will that work? Can I run digital? Can I, can I run Hashcat on my other server? Would it actually like? Would it? So okay, let's do that then. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Fine, we'll try and code it. Um, date. Data dot date dot starts with nineteen fifty nine. Data. I could just call that data. I don't need to. Data dot previous date. Yeah, my kernel panic will happen. <laughs> previous date equals previous date. So data, let's just print entries and see if we get it. And then let's break to see if this will actually work for one thing. This thing is called uh, Hot 100. So, two seconds to pull that down. Takes a lot of time. It's going to take a lot of time, dude. It's going to, because it has to go week by week. Is fetch, does fetch need to be true? Does it have a local cache of these? That was a little faster. Trip, thank you. Did you find a source for those? That's much faster if we don't fetch it. I guess a little bit, but I don't need to make those extra calls though. Let's just print this out and then start there. Data equals the yog the yogovo. What are you referring to? Oh, there's a Kaggle CSV file. Thanks, D Hacker. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're the man. Are you? Is there? Is there supposed to be a Kaggle CSV file inside this repo? Or are you referring to, Neil, are you referring to another uh, page? Okay, if you want to uh, like poop it in Discord or something, or remove the .com, whatever you're comfortable with, dude. <laughs> Get username. Is this a joke? <laughs> Data can equal 
date being the previous date. Base64 and paste it. True hacker methodology. So... Python hot. One, two, three. It's going to take some time. Okay. So, four. Can I just like. Let's just start to download this first. Good night, D Hacker. Thanks again, dude. You're the man. Let's do like JSON. Can I JSON import that or something? Okay. Roger, I will search that. These are music lyrics, billboard lyrics. Are these lyrics? Oh, it has the song and the lyrics. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's uh, all lowercase, which I guess works. I feel like I have to... I feel like I have to download it all. Like, I feel like I have to. As much as I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. You know? <sighs> Go. Hit the button. Hello. It does. You think I could use that one? The Kaggle? Well, we're missing those last couple of years, which I guess we could download those, but... This is not a 50, 50 point value worth endeavor, you know? All right, how do I download? <laughs> Sign in with Facebook, Google, or Yahoo. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I don't want to do that. Do you think we're accidentally dosing billboard.com by doing this? Okay. <laughs> we're good. It said you just need to find the first song where the title is the same as the artist name. Is it the first song? I thought it was like the number of all the songs. How many Billboard 100 tracks are the exact same title as the name of the credited artist, including any collaborators? And what's the first one alphabetically? So we need to know the number. And... We need to know the number, and we need to actually find the first alphabetical one. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we're totally, like, accidentally DDoSing Billboard.com. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. What are the other things we can do? Programming an algorithm is still kind of dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's just gross. Fair deal large. What is what? 
<laughs> Slade, are you outing me right now? Are you trying to you trying to out me, bro? Is there supposed to be a description for fair deal small and an input file for me? Okay, someone someone has to have Hashcat that won't cause a kernel panic. There has to be such a thing. Yeah, I'm going to move on from billboards. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't. I think it's my full name. Not that I should particularly share this information with you as the internet, but... Why? Yeah, we do need the Kraken. That's for sure. Will the yearly script work? I don't know if that's it. No, I kind of moved on from Billboard. Yeah. Shush. <laughs> Shush, Nicola. Stop giving me... Stop saying those good ideas and those smart things. Oh. They think I'm spam. So that's not going to work. What do you think... Alright, John the Ripper can crack hashes. John the Ripper. Crack MD5 hash? Do you think this is an MD5? There's like a hash identifier tool, isn't there? I feel like there's one on Kali, and I don't know the name of it. This could be literally anything. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's this website. This has this has sure could be literally nothing. All of the above. <laughs> I feel like we'd have to brute force it if it's not in um Darknet Diaries. Cool. All right. I've never heard of that. Whatever, Slade. We'll check it out. We'll have some creepy pasta. How does one have... What is Darknet Diaries? Is it like about CTF or Capture the Flag or something? Or like does it mention it? What is that? <laughs> John the Ripper. Crack raw MD5 hash. I don't think it's a way to do it. Maybe, maybe we just need to brute force this. I don't think that'll be hard. Cracker. Pie. How about that? From Is that a thing? Like you have to pass it a user name or something? I saw that was like what the guy tried to do. John the Ripper, run John, tag tag format equals raw hyphen MD5, and then see if it'll brute force, maybe? I don't know if that'll work or not, but you said rockyou.txt didn't work, so... The only other thing we could realistically do is this quantum computing. And I haven't really even read this yet. I guess I should get into this podcast then if you guys are telling me it's really good. 
put that on my commute to work next week. What are the four lines that we need to add to the bottom here? Are these links? No. They just thought they were. Oh, thanks, Bert. You're the man. Yeah, I... Gokman, you know, like, if there's a long, like, six six or seven paragraphs, even, like, two or three paragraphs for a challenge disgrunt, like a challenge prompt, I'm like, why would I read that? Matt, hi, how's it going? Welcome. Do we get any, uh, cracked hashes? No, of course not. Are we done already? Like, <laughs> should we tap out or something? Go back to Code Wars, call it a day? I don't know any idea. I have I have no idea as to what this question is asking for. Like, guess four different lines of code that should be added to be to the end with semicolons. That's so strange. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Some of these are really funny. The Slack channel's funny. He's like, yo, is there anyone here? <laughs> we need some cheerleaders. Alright. I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> Who got cracking five? When three, four, three and four just aren't a thing. Thanks, Nicola. I feel like I'm just staring at the CTF board right now. Also, none of the challenges are, are showing up for me. Is the site dead? <laughs> oh, no. Did we reach Google? We reached Google just fine. I'm going to have to eat dinner pretty soon, you know? It's like 7.13. We played this game for an hour. Oh, dude! Guys, we're gonna win the... If no one overtakes us, we could win the this individual award. <laughs> or I guess it's team... We are right now a team. I don't know if... I don't know who would get the individual award, because, like, all you guys clamored in together. Nice stuff. Fun game. Okay, site's dead. Back to Code Wars. <laughs> I don't know what the award is because the site's dead. Oh, oh, it reloaded. It's back. You know what? We probably should have put all of these hashes in here. Just to see which ones would get it. Just to see if, if John would be able to crack any of them, like, procedurally like that. I don't know if... I honestly don't know if John is able to handle that format like that, but I guess there's no way to find out. We gotta get a we gotta get one of these hashes, man. That would put us back over. But yeah, other than that, I feel like we're locking it down. Dan and him, no. <laughs> it's just because they're watching the stream. That's all. <laughs> At the start of two thousand nineteen.
<laughs> Two answers separated by a semicolon. What is the first one alphabetically? Two thousand nineteen list of United States cities. List of United States cities by population. Goodness gracious. Is this all of them? Are these all the cities? I feel like that's too little. I honestly feel like that's not enough cities. No, yeah, yeah, that's there's totally not all of them. I agree with you. List of capitals, list of cities. List of cities in the United States of America. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so cities by state. I don't want the top 150. I want literally all of them. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Following the list of most incorporated places. That's got to be it then. This is 2018 rank. 2019? Looks like that's all. I, well, I'm assuming this is only US, you know what I mean? But I could very well be wrong. I am likely wrong, as I usually am. There's no way that any of these have the word flag in them, though. Do they? Oh, yay! Hey, if anyone's listening, the programming challenges are updated. And now have the missing input files. We'll let Matt know. Matt. Looks like the programming challenges have input files now. Ooh, you find something, Slade? Flag. Flag. There's no way. <laughs> World cities. Is it still is it still selected? There's no way it was selected. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Flag. Still nothing. Yeah. People are yelling at me in Discord. There's got to be a way to download this file. The download button, maybe? Download. Will it do it? It does it! Amazing! So... cat. Oh, you probably can't see that. My face is in the way. Cat. World cities. Grep tech I for flag. Two. You think that's it? <laughs> I 
It's worth a try. No. Incorporated cities or towns. In the world. This is like a strange scavenger hunt. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I like this. I think we're going to give it about like 10 more minutes. And then we'll call it. Because we've been doing this for a while. And I should eat food. To nourish my life. There isn't even a the the song. Oh my gosh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be it. They've got to, like, normally how I, th I would think recon and OSINT challenges like this would work is like there is a specific, unique location that they have done, that they have found, and then we have to track that down and then adjust our code to be able to massage the data the right way. But this is just agony. Maybe we'll still win. <laughs> Dan and beat us. What do they get? Ripper beat us. Oh my gosh. Oh, they got me. Oh no, we have to take me, dude. We've got to. We've got to be able to do that. <laughs> one line containing the number of words I hate reading this you're given a list of words and you must determine how many satisfy this property number of lines to follow each of the subsequent n lines contains one word in question not guaranteed to be English words or words in the language what property as in they're that long I wonder how many words are spelled letters M and E in that order. And they have to be consecutive? That's it? That's it? Okay. Yeah, we have input files now. Me! Let's do this. This is this shouldn't be hard. Theoretically, <laughs> you know. CD me. Oh, okay. We got this. Ape dot Pi. USR bin environment Python. For I in range 1, 2, let's go 6. Let's print out string of I. And then let's disable build view so we can actually see that. So let's say file name can equal that. Um, let's do like s dot in ma that. Hi, you need to find letters M and E. Yep, which looks right. So let's open file name and then let's call that H. So let's do H dot close. And so C can equal H dot read dot splits new lines. And let's remove empty lines in that. So X for x in that if x. Why am I always naming my script ape.py? So ape is an inside joke. It means um, just throwing stuff at the wall, throwing throwing shit at other shit. Just experimenting, playing, see if we can get stuff to work. So c0, let's print that out. Uh, interpret it as an integer. See how many we got. Okay, great. So then c, or length 
for line in C one to length print line. Got to be Python three. La la la. Okay, so sum equal or total equals zero, right? So if me in line total plus equals one. So let's say all equal that. Alls to get rid of the keyword. So then alls dot append string of total and then let's print out semicolon dot join of alls. Alls and stop printing the line please. That should be our answer. Maybe. No. One, two, three, four, five. Use with BTW? I don't know what you mean. Doesn't have to be consecutive? Is that what it says? But not necessarily consecutive. God dang it! Okay. For C in, uh, for car in line. Found M equals false. Found E equals false. If car is equal to M, car is equal to E. If found M. Uh, total plus equals one. No! No! Submit! No! What's that logic? Yeah, I should totally use width. Sh shush! It's, <laughs> it's a CTF! <laughs> um... Yeah, that's that's kind of what we're doing. You don't check for the other case when you find E first and then M. Well, that's not a thing. That's the bad one. Right? Else... Did we not have that break in there? That's probably why I was finding a crap ton of stuff, but, uh... Well, found E isn't being used at all right now. I guess we may as well. And then we can make through and find the check. Found M should be reset if we go the other way. Ooh. So we're counting. If character is equal to M, which it is, and we've set to M equals to true, and then if we find an E and found M was true, we add the total. Hi, Bernardo. Welcome. Portugal is probably pretty cool. I'm jealous that you're from Portugal. That's awesome. So I said 10 minutes and we'd cap this out, but now I want to solve this challenge. <laughs> Wow. 
Why don't you use reg, regex? Because I'm stupid. Yeah, there's been no flag format for this, which is really strange, but... Let's try it with regex. Have I opened the files in the challenges? Yeah, they're already here. So... Y'all have the right number. <laughs> oh. I could do that. I feel it feels like a, a fine hack. Seven two hundred and forty five zero. Is that not what we had? That's not what we had. Well, that's a stupid hack, but. <laughs> Pretty smart, so thanks, Hume. That's a that was a good one. Yeah, just do it in Sublime Text. You don't have to write a script for it. Good call. Didn't have to program anything. <laughs> Why is it a programming challenge? You don't have to program a thing. Oh, Danim's still just above us. What has he got now? He's got fair deal small, bro. <laughs> the Wumata. All right. N, H, and K separated by spaces. This is so weird, man. Why are they so long descriptions? Okay, we'll just do this and see what it tells me. Is that a, is that, that was the right pronunciation? Hear me? Sweet, man. Fair deal. Who even likes reading? See, Matt T, you're exactly right. No one likes reading. It's literally annoying. <laughs> Hook on the system. I know that most of the target takes one route around your freak line here. Line ones contain N, H, and K separated by spaces. Line two, N plus one contain the cost of one of the Emita routes. So, yeah, Elkus, um, I'm sorry, dude. Thanks for doing that. It's worth a try, I guess, but Sample output, N, H, K. Oh, 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 so they're literally variables. And two through, one, so four, okay. Contain the cost, the value in T. And 
Thanks, Alex. This has been a lot of fun. You're the best. Thank you for all your help, dude. Thank. I'm, I'm glad you came and hung out. Thanks. Sleep well. Good night. It is at least 9 and less than 10. Any background music? I mean, I can put on some like NCS or something if you guys want to hang, but we should probably call it. I know we, I know I said that sometime, but we, <laughs> how long have we been doing this? Three hours and 158 of you are still hanging out. You guys, I hope you had a great time. This has been honestly phenomenal because I've not seen so many of you guys come to hang out at a stream like this before. So, uh, Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I remember I wanted to end the stream like halfway through it, so I'd be able to say, Oh my god, they're using Hashcat! Before we go, <laughs> we have to see if they get any of these flags with Hashcat. Which ones are you solving? Like, do these videos just straight up have the flag in them? No one knows. Carrot. <laughs> do any of the players even have Hashcat? Is that why, like, no one has solved this? <laughs> Blot to us. Dan and his live overflow. That's probably very true. Nah, I know he's been, he's been doing his own thing. He actually doesn't play too many Capture the Flags. Yeah, guys, we're on trending. YouTube displayed me on the, on the, on the main page. Yeah. Okay, so you get a you get a, uh, a Colonel Panic too. I'm so angry. I wish I wish we could get any of those, but Hashcat just dies for me. I don't don't know why. Okay, let's call it. We've been doing this for three hours. It's been a lot of fun. I think Code Wars was a blast. It was great having you guys and your input, and thank you for helping me out, because I know I suck sometimes. Uh, it was fun to do this Capture the Flag competition that apparently had literally no rules other than don't do this in the illegal sense. So, <laughs> uh, I'm glad we were able to hang out and do a CTF Live, kind of. A funsies one that we didn't have any reverse engineering or binding exploitation, but thanks for hanging out. Maybe we'll get a few more and climb back to the top of the scoreboard and defeat Danim. <laughs> Alrighty, get ready for the ghetto. Get ready for the ghetto OBS uh, goodbye screen. Or we can fork bomb, just like we normally do. End a stream the classic way when we destroy my computer. I don't think four gums will particularly work. We can try and get a kernel panic with Hashcat. That'd be extremely appropriate. Let's do it. Let's do that. Get ready for kernel panic. Or it actually solves the challenge and we were all wrong. <laughs> do we even have Hashcat? That's a worthy test. Every single stream that we do, uh, we try and make it destructive in an ending. So I don't know if you've watched any of the other streams, but they uh they they fall apart in a, some good some good ways. Let's see this guy's video and how he actually Nicola, oh thanks so much. I'm glad it's your first time. Yeah hey, you gotta check out some of those other uh those other streams where we <laughs> Uh, 
hash identifier. So then he uses hashcat like m0 because that's the identifier for md5 and then tack a do you pass in the hash? You literally pass it in. A0 and that's it? Oh, we can, and we need to give it a word list. Okay. But Sam Crass, you gotta do it, dude. Take it over. Hash cat. Tack M zero. Tack A zero. Hash. Opt. What did he use for his word list? Rocky.txt. We don't even have hash cat! <laughs> Is it in the repos? No. All right. Well, I gotta do this now. I can't just like I can't just say to not do it. Hashcat. It's totally on GitHub. Let's get the GitHub. Get the GitHub. CD opt. Git clone. Do I have a hashcat in here? Oh, I do. That's where it is. Okay. So hashcat. Dot slash. Go. Get ready. Currently broken. We're waiting for updated open CDL drivers. Okay, so my mouse is no longer working. I don't know if you can see me trying to move my mouse pad, but my mouse is not going anywhere. So that's a good start. My mouse is back. Oh! Oh! Okay. That warning told me to just use tac tac force. Of course. Do it. Oh no. <laughs> Question is, will we even get a flag out of this? Uh. Oh, you got some matches, Elkus. Holy crap! Dream is buffed. Great. We're slowly dying. <laughs> Are we still going? All right, let's call it. I don't know if you guys saw, but OBS tried to die. OBS died and then reconnected apparently up there. So I got this good kernel. <laughs> this I don't know. That's a uh, good good seg fault there. Whatever that is. <laughs> Lots of bees. Good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.